Good morning and welcome to the Kehillah Chari Torah daily Halacha Shir uh, for Monday, March 23rd. Uh, we're uh, usually we after our minion, which unfortunately for the moment is suspended because of coronavirus precautions. Uh, we review a point or two of Halacha for just two or three minutes. Uh, news you can use, things uh, relevant to uh, the time of year. Uh, and so on. So we're talking about the laws of Pesach. We happen to be learning out of a sefer uh, called Hilchot Chagim, Laws and Customs of the Jewish Year, uh, relevant to both Ashkenazim and Sephardim, compiled by the former late uh, Chief Rabbi of Israel, Mordechai Eliyahu. Uh, so we're talking about uh, chametz and the absolute need uh, to dispose of your chametz, uh, get rid of your chametz, not own any chametz, any leaven products uh, over the course of Pesach, from uh, before midday on Erev Pesach, uh, through the end of the holiday. Uh, we're not allowed to own or benefit from, certainly not to eat, uh, any leaven products. So of course, those are the things in your, ca in your pantry, uh, like bread, crackers, cereal, and so on. Most processed foods have some or other kind of mixture of chametz, uh, and it's not nullified one in 60, it's not nullified one in a thousand. Uh, so we do have to either eat it all up, drink it all up, if it's uh, beer, uh, liquor, uh, most of those contain, almost all of those contain uh, chametz. The alcohol in it is uh, considered chametz. Uh, has to be uh, disposed of, uh, not owned by us, uh, by Jews, by any Jew, uh, during the course of the Passover holiday. So how do we do that? Either eat it all up, or give it away, or throw it out, or we do have another remedy, which is to sell it. If you can uh, track down a responsible Orthodox rabbi somewhere in this fair, s fair city and arrange to have your chametz uh, sold, make that rabbi the agent uh, of uh, sale for your chametz, and have it owned by a non-Jew for the course of the holiday, that is an acceptable uh, remedy to this uh, predicament. Uh, we will have both on the website uh, within the next couple of days and also in the, uh, in the Nachas Bulletin, which is going to be available online and will be mailed out to you, uh, the possibility to uh, designate an, an agent for the sale of chametz so you'll be able to take care of that. <coughs> We're not allowed to uh, eat or derive any benefit from the chametz uh, that's owned by the non-Jew, even if it happens to be in our garage or if it happens to be uh, in our uh, hall closet in our house. Uh, of course, it has to be labeled and designated as chametz, which has been sold uh, and is not owned by a Jew over uh, Pesach. We also have to take very good care uh, after Pesach. The sages put a penalty uh, for owning chametz over Pesach. So even a, a Jew who's either not aware or didn't take responsibility to sell his or her chametz uh, and owns a store, wants to sell pasta or cookies or uh, any chametz products after Pesach, we're not allowed uh, to buy from them. We're not allowed to uh, benefit from another Jew's uh, transgression of owning chametz on Pesach. So we have to take very good care that the uh, store that we buy from either is owned by non-Jews or if it's owned by Jews, that all the chametz that's uh, in the stocks, in the stock room, was sold before Pesach. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.